Thank you for watching this video. Today I'm going to talk about how to manage your reading list uh, with Notion and Grasp. So this is era of information overload and you receive so many notifications from email, like newsletter, blog, or social media, like Twitter, LinkedIn, like Facebook, or even Slack or Discord these days. And without having a, a solid management system, content management or, or knowledge management system, and you'll be drawn in the information river. So, so today, I, I, then today I'd love to like share how to create a reading list on Notion because Notion provides so many templates and reading list is one of them. And then like the two, like showing the two options that you can manage reading list. One is Crippin uh, with Notion Web Cripple and another is like using Rust Web Highlighter, like highlighting system. And then later, like I'm going to show you how to embed your reading list in your blog post if you are writing something. So let's dive in. So this is my Notion system and Notion provides some some of you already know that Notion provides so many templates and by clicking here and you will see so many templates like class notes, job application, or even homepage. And also one of them is reading list. So like this, okay, let's use this. So it creates like this. This is a template. And so you can add like your, your reading list here if you are new uh, to manage content. And so like articles, they, they like cares about the types so podcast, academic channel, or articles like that, something like this. And Notion provides a uh, web clipper like this. So you can easily clip the content from the web. So let's say, okay, so here, so add to Brave. So I, I use Brave, but you can use in a Chrome uh, browser. It's the same. And adding it, and yep, yep, you successfully added it. Then like ping, and so you are actually ready to use it. So you can choose where to add your like, the web clipping, and you can choose about place like this. So let's say, so you are reading some articles like this. Then just click in here, then save page. So you're doing so, it's already, yeah, here, here is the one. You already, like the notion web clipper takes like, care of your, your name. Like, the, 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 you can clip the whole content from the web by clicking and easily. So what you want to do is like, there are some types. So this is uh, online articles. So click article. So there are several views that you can choose as you want. Then like drop and drop to like here so that you can see like the whole content. And if you resonate with something like select in text and choosing here, text color, then you can choose the background pink or yellow background and see then you can highlight the content or sentences here on Notion. Like this. So let's see, okay, I wanna clip this too. Sorry, uh, this. So I wanna clip this too and save page. Yep, it's saved like this. So what you do is like a drag and drop to articles and you see the whole content here. Sometimes media like include advertisement, you know, or any, many, so many disruptions. So if you wanna focus on only reading, maybe using Notion Web Cripple is, is your option, one option for you so that you can focus on the content. Then you can just choose like, select the text then highlight as you want. This is how to use like Notion Web Creeper, uh, but like it, you know, creeps whole content. But sometimes you wanna, you only need the highlights and notes. So let's say because highlighting, you can you can see the highlights on Notion, you know, here. But you can't search only highlights on Notion. So that's why I'm going to, I wanna show you how to use Grasp. So Grasp is a social web highlighter, and you can highlight content on the web from the web and manage like your highlights and notes and tag and also something like this. Let's say in this content, so I already highlighted this content. So grasp plus like the clicking the grasp icon shows the sidebar. And so let's switch in here. And you can see like highlights like this. So highlighting is easy with grasp. So selecting content, then you will see the pop up. And by choosing any colors you want, and it highlights like this. And when you finish highlighting, so you can just copy all, then move to here. Then let's say add new documents and just hit command V. So you see. Like, okay, the title should be here, maybe. But then you can see like the photo image thumbnails and metadata URL and tag you used and only highlights and notes like this. So it looks like the same content, but the one is like this, uh, sorry, uh, Notion Web Clipper. So it's the whole content you capture, but another is only highlights and notes. It depends on the use case and what you wanna store or share with someone if you want to. But if you really want to search for, like, if you are the one who searches for, like, only important information, highlights and notes data, or want to use the, the highlights and notes when you write something in the blog, I think the grasp can be the, 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 your option. 
But if you want to read whole content without any like ads, advertisement, or any disruption on Notion, I think Notion Web Clipper is your option like this. So then let's back to here. The last three, like embed, like so embedding your reading list in your blog. So one of the interesting like feature on Notion is that you can share this page to the web. So publish and share the link, and then anyone can access your uh, this page and by choosing here. And also you can add like search engine indexing or not, or allow someone to duplicate you, you know, as a template or not. So by clicking like copy, copy the web, and open the new, like let's say open new windows, and anyone can actually see your reading list like this. But you can't only embed what you read, what you are reading or read on your blog post with Notion. It's really hard. There's some tools, but like it, you need to take care of it or manually sometimes. So, but with Grasp, by the way, this is my Grasp page. So you can see what I read and highlight the notes like this. So like when you highlight, so the Grasp takes care of managing your content in, in the backend. So you don't actually need to copy and paste it to Notion. But if you prefer to use Notion, you can do so. Yeah, that's what I wanted to say. But you can actually create an embed link so that, let's say you can just share what you're reading like this. So let's say copy and get back to it. So let's say, let's say this is your blog and you wanna share what you're reading. So slash and embed, and you can embed the link. Yeah, it looks small first, but you can choose the width as you want. So yeah, okay, let's say, yeah, let's do this. So yep, so you can embed the link. So again, and let's say, you know, this is your blog and by you can share the, the, the your blog uh, with link by embedding, and you can see you know what you are reading these days. Like this and by clicking, it, that takes you know them to like the, the, the original page, original source, like this. So hope uh, it helps your like managing your reading list and an online reading with Notion and Grasp. And please just let me know if you have any question and in the comments and thank you so much for, for watching bye